reports from ongoing festivals and events, as well as interviews with artists, writers, and critics in Saturday's World of Culture. And on Sunday, Listener's Letterbox takes a look at some of the letters and messages sent in by our listeners and brings you the latest on our programs and frequencies. For all these and much more on RRI, including current affairs, analyses, sports, and lots of music. Radio Romania International. World of Culture. Welcome, we are La Camera Smyon and Kalin Kotsoyu. And today we'll bring you a feature on 100 years of Dada movement in Romania. An exhibition marking the 100th anniversary of the Dada movement in Romania opened at Arkub, the cultural center of Bucharest, located in the old city center. The exhibition is called Tsara, Dada, etc., and was mounted by Erwin Kessler, who used works belonging to Emilia Radu's family collection. It is the most comprehensive retrospective exhibition of Tristan Tsara's works and publications ever mounted in Romania. It is also the first such exhibition at an international level displaying a great part of the first printed editions of Tsara's poetic works, illustrated by some of the world's greatest artists. The event also marks the inauguration of Cabaret Voltaire, as well as the birth of the Dada movement in Zurich on February 5th, 1916. Among the most familiar of Tristan Zara's Dada texts are the La Première Aventure Céleste de Monsieur Antipyrine and Vincent Poem, as well as the manifestos of the Dada movement, including Set Manifest Dada. Tristan Zara's later works include L'Homme Approximatif, published in 1931, Parle Seul, brought out in 1950, La France Intérieure, published in 1951. Speaking about Zara's artistic achievement in Paris, here is the author of the exhibition, Erin Kessler. It is a most noticeable feat, the fact that a young man, leaving Bucharest in November 1915, succeeded on February 5th, 1916, to get straight access to the great scene of international art. That is also the main tenet of the exhibition, Namely, that the Dada movement was created in a whirlpool of inspiration in early 1916, while Tara, jointly with Marcel Yanko and Arthur Segal, all three born in Bucharest, Romania, created Dadaism. The Arkub exhibition has around 100 exhibits belonging to Emiliano Radu, a collector from Bucharest, who in recent years dedicated himself to a minute and extremely costly undertaking, that of putting together items as part of a comprehensive Tristan Sara and Dada collection. The items are unique. Some of them have never before been seen, even at an international level, although they are tremendously valuable. Such as the letter Tristan Sara sent to André Breton in July 1919, a seminal letter written on a sheet of paper tore out of his book 25 Poems, his debut volume. It is a letter containing the details of his arrival in Paris and the relocation of the Dada movement from Zurich to Paris. Shortly after reaching the apex of his career, Tristan Dara chose to retire from public life. In an interview he gave to his friend, Ilaria Voronka, who was born in Brila and published in the famous avant-garde magazine Integral, Tristan Dara confessed, quote, I write to discover people. 
And indeed, I have discovered people, but they were people who disappointed me so much that this urge for writing disappeared completely, just like the dew from my visual frame, from my interests. The fact that the object of disappointment is even today worthy of attention only deepens my sorrow. At last, it dawned upon me that the other's right, if not to climb up the social ladder, at least to make a deposit in the bank of their connections, which someday will open for them the doors of an academy about which I didn't care much. I continue to write for myself, even for the moment, and unable to find other people, I have never ceased searching for myself.